First thing we are gonna do is we're gonna assign some values for X and Y. And whenever I assign a value for X and Y, I'm gonna be getting the other one and that's gonna give me my ordered pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that here. Ordered pairs. Okay, and an ordered pair is the X comma the Y. So the easiest thing for me to do is to always insert a zero for X and I'm gonna do it again and insert a zero for Y. When I insert something for X like here, and of course I'm writing a different color, y'all know I love that, three Y equals 12. So two times zero is zero. That's why I substituted zero here because I'm getting rid of it. And now I can just go with three Y equals 12. I'm gonna divide both sides by three because I'm trying to get Y, what is Y? And so y equals four. So my first ordered pair is gonna be zero comma four. What do you think I'm gonna substitute for the y? I think I already told you. Yep, I'm gonna substitute zero for y here. This time I'm gonna use the same equation and I'm gonna substitute in my y this time. Now I said I'm gonna make it be zero y because I wanna get rid of that right quick. Two x equals 12 and now x Divide both sides by two, y'all, and x equals six. So six comma zero is my other ordered pair. So why do I have ordered pairs? Well, because I wanna do my graphing, okay? And in order to do my graphing, I needed those coordinates so that I can go ahead and put them on the graph. I gotta put some numbers here, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. So my first order pair was zero. X is zero comma four, two, four. So that's here, zero comma four. And then my next order pair is six comma zero. Uh, X is six, two, four, six, and Y is zero, so here. So that is six comma zero. And I always write my ordered pairs on the graph so I know what's going on. And we see here we have a negative slope. What's the slope? The hill, okay? This slope is going downhill, okay? This hill's going down. If it was a positive slope, the arrow would be going up. So we're gonna talk about slope in the next video, so make sure you take a look at it. Play around with some other equations.